welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to cut a curly haircut, not using a comb. We're gonna do it on dry hair. It's gonna be a nice short haircut. We're gonna be cutting a 4A to 4C hair type. So it's gonna be super fun. I can't wait to walk you guys through this step by step. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying the new uh, drone footage. Trying to get back to doing some more vlog style videos. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, they're just, adds a little bit more fun, I feel like, to the video. Make sure you guys hang out until the end of this video because I got a special little surprise for you guys at the end. We're gonna be announcing the Tri-Razor winner, so uh, stay tuned, let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start off today's technique. Basically what I wanna do is I wanna assess the angle that I'm gonna take within the haircut. So what I'll do is I'll kinda scrunch up the curls, just kinda see where I wanna go with it, and then I'll start my sectioning. Now, sectioning off curly hair is a little bit different than uh, sectioning off straight hair just because you don't wanna pull the curls apart too much. This entire haircut I'm gonna do with just holding hair within my hands. I'm not gonna be combing it at all. Again, I don't wanna disrupt the curl pattern, um, so I just make as clean of a parting as possible and really just trying to make sure that I balance my partings and then I start working in the bottom. Now, I'm going to separate this technique into basically three uh, levels. So we've got our base level right here, which is around the bottom. I'm taking the hair vertically in my hands. You can see I just kind of pull it out and I grab my guide and I pull my guide over to the new section because I'm cutting with the round of the head. I don't want to over direct too much, especially with curly hair, um, because you might uh, start pushing too much weight uh, forward. So what I want to do is keep everything uh, even throughout the head shape, I pull the guideline to the new section and I cut the hair to the length that I desire for the desired look. Um, so I just work my way through. You can see how I scoop the, the curls into my hand. Nothing complicated about this, guys. You just got to get in there and uh, start cutting. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Again, parting the hair with my fingers and then pulling that guide up into the new section and working my way around. So now I'll just do a little detail work as I get done with my section, just any loose hairs or anything like that. And then I'll let down level two, which is gonna be right around that um, parietal ridge area, back into the mid crown. And I just work my way all the way around the head. Now the question here is, how do you wanna build up this weight? Do you want it heavier at this point or do you want it lighter? If you want it lighter, I like to go vertical. I can control the weight up and down uh, within my fingers better that way. So I wanted to remove a little extra weight, didn't want it to be too uh, bulky at this point, but again, you know, that's totally up to you um, and what style you're trying to create. Within this style, I wanna make sure that it's nice and light. Uh, now you saw me tugging on the curl a little bit. That's just to show you guys not a lot of tension goes into this. Really just trying to hold the curls in place where I think a lot of people would probably make a mistake would be to pull the, the curls too much, stretch them out too much, cut them, and then watch them react back and kind of become shorter than you thought. So just making sure you stay light on the tension, you pull the hair out really where it wants to live, don't stretch it, and you're good to go. So now we're gonna let down the top. Now, as soon as I let this down, I kind of just said to myself when I looked in the mirror of the cut, I kind of liked it already. So uh, I just went in and I pinch little pieces of the curl and I start to carve in my shape or cut in my shape using each individual uh, little patch of curls. So I just pull them out. I cut in between. This is a little tip I learned from Danielle the other day in class. So hopefully you guys have uh, seen her class. If not, uh, check it out on our channel. But you cut inside the curl so that that way um, you don't get frizzy ends, which I thought was a really cool tip. So I just go through, pinch those little curls, work my way around the head shape, but I really love the buildup of weight that happened as soon as I let that level three down. So just working through it, looking at the shape. Another thing I love so much about curly hair is that uh, it doesn't lie to you. It really reacts as you cut it so you can see exactly what's happening within uh, the shape. 
So now to style it up, we're going to use Invisible Wear Boomerang uh, Restyling Mist. I love this because it adds some moisture to the hair, kind of helps reactivate that curl a little bit. So I'll just put that through and it'll start to air dry a bit. Uh, and as I go in, this is just a technique where I lift up the hair and kind of cut into it just to skinny up those sides because I wanted to take a little bit um, extra plus adding that dimension and air to the haircut as well. Finish it up with a little Avapui uh, medium hold uh, finishing spray and then that is it. So just kind of get that style where you want it. Uh, have fun with it guys. You know, I just Googled 4A to 4C hairstyles and this one popped up and I just couldn't wait to create it. So I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know in the comments below. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Haircut. Can I be your model? I like that hat. Dave's my model. I can cut it after that. Till, what do you have? So there's 19 minutes until you're supposed to do Dave's. Oh, is it 19 minutes? Yeah. All right, I'll cut your hair. Yeah. Let's cut it. I just need the sides and back. You can announce the winner of the contest then, okay. while I cut your hair. Mandy Moore. Morgan. Morgan. I just remember the Mandy Moore part. The winner. The winner of Matt's new tri razor. Mandy Morgan. Don't move your head. Just say it was still head. The winner of Matt's new tri razor is Mandy Morgan. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, you're not interrupting. No. I want to be pretty too, Dave. Good. What did you say, buddy? I said I want to be pretty too. Hoo-hoo! There you go. Watch out.